should go and see how we have to deal with immigrants around the world. You should see how tough was that we get rejected by the visa. And my answer to you is just your same as your answer to me. It was, it would have been right maybe about seven, eight years ago. Oh, okay. But now my biggest fear is that I will die one day and nobody will remember me. Or yeah. that I will have made no impact on the world. And I don't mm. mean impact in a way that Anne does impact because uh, her way of impacting is different, right? But I mean like, I have died without bringing joy to the world. Mm. Without adding adding something joyful to the world or increasing the because i believe that the world has like a happy meter and a not so happy meter i feel like i need to add on to the happy meter so that you know the surroundings happy doesn't make sense mm. like the scale is a bit more balanced that way right i think yeah. it's the same as the the way that we do the reason why we do the things that we do because uh i think some time back um i had a, okay, this is okay. So this is out of topic, but it's of value still, mm. and it maybe explains why I decided to continue doing this. Mm. Because previously there was okay. So I learned, I learned that I, I how should I do it? Not learn. I watched and and saw some examples of where parents didn't really teach the children what they are supposed to do. Yes, you get what I mean. And then I realized that ah. Because of people like that, all the more the people who are doing good, who are teaching valuable valuable stuff or giving knowledge or bringing information that's of value to other people, need to speak louder, mm. need to speak up. Because otherwise, right, we will allow the negative yes, to be louder to, than to us. to be louder. And then, you know, nowadays with social media and everything, right, everybody is very easily sweet. Yeah, of course. And it's human nature to be friends because we are born to be social animals. We will follow the crowd. A yeah. lot of people are like that, right? So if let's say we stop, we stop speaking up, mm. then whoever is speaking up but negatively or not having a, ne- a positive impact Good on impact. the world, yes, then they will become louder and louder. And then, yeah. Like I think it's an ongoing thing. To yeah, it's mean like thing. we upset that and we agree with what they say because people may say like, oh, silent is mean I don't care and I just know I don't. I don't agree with that anymore. I used to believe that, mm. but then after that, I can see the mm. like the, the shift, consequence. Right? Yeah, the right. Shift. And the consequences impact my life too. Mm. But I just choose to be silent, choose to live as victim, and mm. choose to be a powerless in, in my own life. I'm actually create More another problems. another child that's going to watching me grow up. Uh, and I think uh, I think that is why. It, it, it motivate me a lot to do what I'm to doing. To do something else. Different. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I can see that the the chain of my life. I don't see the big impact in my daughter yet. Mm-hmm. Of course, I cannot tell. It's a long consequence. Mm-hmm. We will see in like twenty more years, mm-hmm. right, of Ava life. Mm-hmm. But right now, I can see for the last five years, six years after my divorce, I never ever feel that happiness between me and my daughter. You know, the first few years, even from pregnancy to give birth, I think we're not really happy as a mother-daughter. Even she was small and she was still don't know anything. I still think the energy there is I think only... you felt your anxiety. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, only anxiety, fear, insecurity, always crying, always you feel Sad unsafe. or angry and, or disappointed. Yeah, yeah, so I think we have the most fun for the last few few years. And even this afternoon when she come to my room and she say, mommy, become a sandwich and I will take the pillow, become a cheese and I will jump on you because I will be the top of the... And I'm a freaking boring mother. I will tell you guys that I hate this kind of shit, okay? She jump on me. She like... Uh, Tickle uh, you. I know. She, she love it. I don't like it, you know? She likes She likes. She like to do like physical so violent, play. like violent. I'm not saying physical, she violent. She jump on me. She, I have the book three, four pillow, and she jump like a freaking like you know like elephant. <laughs> like she step high and she jump down. Not kind of like I'm nice with you. You get what I mean? Like I have to be violent with you. <laughs> violent. And then she will ask Joey to to lock my body so she can tick lick my leg. That's how kind of like like willingness like my daughter all in. You get what I mean? I one kick her face will fly, man. I will almost click kick in her face just now. So I'm just saying like. I can see like how much fun and joy we have as a mother-daughter. 
I would never have. I'm very. I, one thing I'm very sure. I never know one day we will have this much fun. But if you ask me to look back, I'm very sure one thing. Even in that situation, you will never have that. Yeah, the cons the consequence. I'm very mm. sure that I will be a freaking crumbly and anxiety and stress woman. Mm. That my daughter will be stressed out with me. So mm -mm -mm. that's why I understand where you come from because people think be a parent, then you can teach your children, but it's not true. Mm. You can. I have children, and I just want more and more adult or all the good children around, mm -hmm. so my daughter will have a good environment to growing up with. Yeah. Does that make sense yeah. to you? Yeah, I agree. So, yeah. so that's so that's why that's why I think that's also why the the reason why I continue doing this and the reason why she she continue doing this. Yeah. Oh my god, it's it's tiring lah. It's be tiring. Honest. Yeah. I would rather be quiet. Yeah, of course. And then I'm like, oh, you know what? I don't care. But you know what? The thing is the same as AI or or anything yeah, else. Even yeah. if you don't care, it will still carry on. Yeah. So if you're part of the world, then you have to care. Yeah. That's all. I have to care. Oh, okay, you can invite anyone to have dinner, dead or alive, or anybody who is dead or alive. So it can be like somebody two hundred years ago. Okay. Who would you invite? Oh, definitely Uncle Lee. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> he is my bigger, bigger, bigger idol. Like hugest ever, hugest ever. I love. I study every freaking thing that he doing. I love every sentence he say in the video. Still alive. I'm still study about how he answers certain question and, and how his mind work, how right? his mind work and how even his body language and how sharp, how vision, visionable the person, how strong his heart, his mind, his soul. I don't know. I don't know how amazing God can make someone like that as it in life. You know, I he was made to build Singapore. I yeah, think. I I would tell you, I I love him so much that I feel upset when I don't remember a few days ago I watched the TikTok video uh -huh. that one young Singaporean girl. I would uh -huh. say freaking young and dumb as fuck. I would say that okay <laughs> because I'm fucking upset. Even the TikTok YouTube pip pip me here. I'm doesn't care. <laughs> so she basically traveled in some foreigner country mm -hmm. and the guy asked where you come from and what is your country have mm -hmm. and this is what she answered i come from singapore and my country have nothing i say nothing oh, oh my, my god, god you freaking 20 years old and you go to around the world and that's what Tell you talk that's about is nothing. nothing i'm come here and i so much appreciate for she, she went to some uh european countries right? yeah yeah she mm -hmm. said your country have mountain have no where you... nice weather have food people here have work-life balance my country have nothing and i i were boiling you know what i mean because i can imagine if that's my How freaking I daughter know. if that's my freaking daughter you go home and you will see you will see what i'm doing to you. <laughs> oh my god suddenly you sound like my mother <laughs> my mother always like you go you wait you wait you go home you wait <laughs> you wait <laughs> you just wait and then no i up. i don't she know if this girl me. will grow up and regret what she just say maybe you know she I mean? will okay the only but thing this that can is change. thing i'm not even a singaporean i think that's and i feel up why i feel up you you say i you see how much emotional i come like no just I think, like i think just by watching that video you are not from singapore that's the reason why you appreciate what singapore has yeah that's why i tell you oh a my lot god of, even as a singapore i always say this a lot of singaporeans especially the younger ones i wouldn't say all definitely all not all but there is a lot who are very ignorant who are very ungrateful how can they say that how can they say that i no, mean they oh all, my god all they have to do is just stay in some place like cambodia laos vietnam no i think just the best stay there for don't, don't just say they stay i think they should re give up their citizen and move out move to where they think is better like, exactly like because mountain, i feel like trees. so this is the thing that i was straight for i'm a straightforward person i would say if you so much don't love your country and you can walk around and proudly say my country have nothing i don't love my country why that why do you keep the passport for did she say she don't love the country or she just said that we have nothing here you have nothing here i want to live here your country oh. is way much cooler that's that's the thing i feel is annoying if you really don't love your country so much you know why you can go europe because your country work their ass off so, so sure you can have, have passport so you can yeah. have a freaking strong passport so you can travel the world and you can work where you want you can stay where you want you have protection from singapore government do you know the people who come from a low like third world country like me 
You should go and see how we have to deal with immigrants around the world. You should see how tough was that we get rejected by the visa. You should see how they treat us like the piece of shit. Like you should cockroach. see <laughs> like we cannot even leave our country without approve a lot of things. For example, do you have land? Do you marry? Do your children rich like you? How much money? Even you have a lot of money. Is it money clean? Is it corruption money? Even you have parents who live overseas, what do you need to go there for? You young, you should able to live in your country and make money. You don't need to travel. What do you need to travel to my country? You should travel to this country because my country don't like people like you. When you go to <laughs> interview, you should get locked in the room and let them treat you like a cockroach, you know? Uh... So I would say as a person who, that's why I say I love Uncle Lee. He's just so amazing. I would love to have him in the dinner. I will pay for dinner, even few million dollars. I don't mind. I really <laughs> want to see him in person. I will freaking cry if I see him in a person. You get what I mean? Uh, uh, that's how much. Oh my so god! So many questions. I know. I I think I won't take much question. I just want to see him. You know, he is I like feel a his vibe. I know. Oh my god! I. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> I will wow. teach my daughter so much about uh, Uncle Lee because I want her to I know. I think his way of teaching suits you. Oh yeah, I love Similar. him. Oh my god. Similar way. That sky of man is powerful. It's okay? very, and I think he we was, need like, more <laughs> that sky of man. No, but I think he was born precisely at that time because he was needed to make Singapore. I think so too. Yeah, I think. because at that yeah. time it was so messy and so. Everything was just like yeah. messy, right? Yeah. And pandemic, you see how amazing he can but make. He was very strong. How he can organize the country exactly how you organize the household. Yeah. Because it looks exactly the same way, right? It's just a disciplined parent <laughs> <laughs> with an organized family. And a, and a cane. And a cane. Yeah, you know? because his style is caning. Oh, style. I love it. Oh, my his God. His style is caning. But see, I how much current... I love him, how much I annoy him. People don't appreciate <laughs> Singapore. You see, but current generation, I think it'll be hard to use the cane, Oh no, I would I would definitely would nagging until my daughter understand <laughs> how lucky she is to be here. Share and subscribe and we will see you guys at the next episode of Spice and I. I am Amanda Spice. And I'm Denise and I. Bye.